Hey guys, Chris from Pro Beast Audio Installation, and today we're doing a backup camera on a Pontiac Firebird, uh, the Trans Am Firebird. What we're going to show you in this install is how to install a backup camera, a license plate mountable camera, to the uh, to an aftermarket radio, which we've installed in another video. Um, so go ahead and check that out. I'll have a link down in the description if you want to see a doubled in touchscreen radio install on this Trans Am. This video will cover the backup camera portion as we uh, get that all wired in as we uh, finish up installing the new radio. So check it out. Obese Audio Installation Channel is sponsored by NVX and Sonic Electronics. Get 10% off all speakers, amplifiers, wiring kits, and more with coupon code PBAI at NVX. Also get 5% off all car audio components at Sonic Electronics with coupon code PROVOBEAST. Now with this install, we're going to use a, like I said, a license plate camera. This is by e Rapta brand. Essentially, it's a license plate mountable one that goes on the studs of the license plate. It comes with a video wire as well as a power cable for our camera itself. And that's about it. Um, the aftermarket radio we're going with is the uh, AVH1300NEX uh, by Pioneer. Uh, we're going to show you in a different video how to install that. But this, at this point of this video, we're going to actually start running these cables from the radio cavity area all the way to the license plate trunk area of the car. Just as a quick note, if you have any questions on how to actually wire one of these up, if we want super good detailed um, instructions here, I actually have a video on the channel of how uh, backup cameras are explained, so check that on out. All right, so we went ahead and connected all our wire. We used heat shrink, um, soldered everything up nice and uh, nice and tidy. We have here our backup camera wire, um, but essentially we left that out and we'll tie that in separately with its own cable. This is our trigger wire, which will run actually to the um, reverse light in the back. We're just gonna extend this wire all the way back there. So at this point, we're gonna zip tie everything up. I actually have some test of tape here. Um, it's kind of like a, a cloth tape. We're going to wrap everything up to make it look factory. Camera, we got our video wire run. We're going to get that plugged into the Pioneer. The Pioneer camera input for the reverse camera is brown. It's our RCA brown input. Um, it may differ depending on the, the make and model of your radio, just keep that in mind. And then for the trigger wire here, remember that purple white wire, which also may differ on your radio, but for Pioneer it's purple white. Um, we just extended that. We popped that down, again it's just held on with two little clips. We're going to start removing the kick panel. It's actually held on with just four screws, Phillips screws. Once you remove those, then it's actually pretty easy to pop this on out. Now, you can get it up and around the uh, hood pop, or you can kind of fish it around, it's up to you. But what we're gonna do is pull this back so we can get underneath the carpet so we can start running our backup camera. Okay, so we ran our cables. Now this panel actually does pop on off, and it really, it's only held by a screw on top. Let's actually we pop this top panel off. It's just kind of a cover. And there's a Phillips screw right on the top here. Go ahead and remove that screw. Don't lose it, throw it in your pocket. This held, is held on with clips. Pull that off, tuck that out of the way as well. You're done with your Phillips. Now, you have your uh, rear seat. You get out and fold it down. And using a, what size is this for you, a T50. Torque spit. Go ahead. Loosen this guy on up. Open the door. At this point, this is actually going to just kind of lift loose. Now you're gonna have a little light here. You're gonna to have to disconnect as well. Um, generally a flathead allows you to relieve those clips. Okay, once you disconnect the light, Slides right on out. And then I have the top somewhat up here. And that allows me access so I can run cables 
just up through underneath the carpet. Um, we continued by pulling our carpet back here in the trunk area, and we're gonna run our trigger wire and our power wire for our camera, um, along with the video wire. And essentially, when you pull this back, what you're gonna notice is there's these locking nuts for each tail light. You can actually undo those so you can pop the light out. Our trigger wire needs to tap into the positive side of our reverse light. So when in reverse, the radio knows when to automatically cycle over to the camera. We have our ground here for our camera, and uh, here's our grommet, so we can actually sneak in through this grommet as well. Um, so there's a seal around the wiring that goes into the tail light area. Now our license plate is actually here in the bumper, so just keep that in mind. Um, we may have to uh, fish the wire through that bumper as well. Okay, so we went ahead and popped the light out. Once you do so, um, the actual light just pops on out and just very carefully rest it or you can wrap it. It's up to you. Now the wire that we're going to need for a trigger wire is this green one here. You can either use the T-tap. What I did is I just stripped the wire back, I soldered onto it, and then I wrapped it in electrical tape and then Tessa tape. And then this is our trigger wire. Remember this goes to the purple and white wire behind the radio. And then we're going to wrap this all up nice and clean like factory. So that's your trigger wire. Okay, so when you pop the uh, license plate off, there's our mounting screws for our camera, and you can fish the wire up back underneath. I'm underneath the back bumper here, and you're gonna see that come on down where we tucked it through, and then I drilled a hole just up through this little portion here. So our wire, once I finish wrapping it, I've loomed it, and where it goes, just tucks up underneath and comes out here. Now, the way that you can really fish that through is I just used a hanger. Um, but this came on out and I got to finish looming it and again one is your power wire and the other is the video wire that you plugged into the camera now to get power to the camera we ran this red wire to a switch source behind the radio now you don't have to do that you can also run the camera off the power of the rear light but we did it this way so the camera receives power all the time when the car is running because our radio itself has the functionality to view the reverse camera while not reverse. So we did that. So that's our power to the camera. Again, this is just connected to a switch source. And then our ground for the camera is right there. So we got power ground for our camera. And our switch source, which is the tail light. And then our video wire plugs into the camera, which we ran along our power cable. That's it. That's your connections here. So like I said, we're gonna clean this all up, run it along the factory wire. Um, we're gonna get everything bolted up on the license plate itself, and then reassemble all these panels back to factory. All right, all cleaned up, all zip tied nice and clean. Everything ready to go, all the extra wires just bundled back here, which will sit behind this panel in case we need it. Good to go, let's reassemble. Okay, we've got everything connected on the back of the radio. Our backup camera wire, a lot of good connections there. Let's get the radio and the dash. Essentially, all this will just tuck back behind the dash. What this will do is go right there, and then our um, dash bezel, once we put in the screws, will actually fit right around. All right, so we're all done. Let's go ahead and do a little test here. Now we've got our Pioneer all reassembled back in the dash. Okay, ready? Here we are. Kind of see it a little bit better there. It's just so bright. Then we'll put it in park. Perfect. Now, like I said, because the, we wired it, the power wire to the camera directly to a switch source, if we go to our camera settings here, we can also see what's in the back behind us uh, while we're not in reverse, which is a bene benefit there. Okay. That's about it. If you have any questions about this reverse camera install, just go post a comment below. Thanks guys for watching the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.